Hi friends. Today we are going to work on our second Google Drawings Shapes activity. Before we get started, make sure that you have your Google Drawings open and ready to go. And remember, I'm going to ask that you watch what I do, pause the video, and go back and do the same thing that I did on yours. Here we go. So the first direction says to make three piles of shapes with one square, one arrow, and one call out. So let's do that. Remember to get a shape, we can either click on this icon or we can go to insert, shape, and then pick which kind we want. All right, I'm gonna use the shortcut right here. And the first one that I'm going to do is my arrow. So I select the shape. And since we're gonna to wanna to fit three on the screen, don't make them too large. All right, and while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and change the color and give it a thick outline so it'll be easy for me to see and to move. All right, so there's my first shape. I did the arrow. Next, I'm gonna do the square. So let's go back to shape. I'm gonna select the square. I'm going to set it right on top of this one so I can make sure that they're the same size because ultimately I want my picture to look like this one. All right, and it automatically kept my border color, my border weight, and the fill color the same. So I'm just going to change my fill color on this one to purple. And then I need to draw my last one, which is the star. So I'm going to go up to my shapes. The star happens to be found in the callouts. I'm going to select that and I'm going to make my star. And I'm gonna change it to green. All right, now I'm going to layer my shapes all right on top so it kind of looks like the one over there. Now, pause the video and make your three shapes. All right, my friends. Now, to make the rest of the work that we are going to do easier, we are going to do something called grouping. To do grouping, first let me click off so that I don't have any of my shapes selected. Then I'm going to click and drag so that I get this blue square around all of my shapes. That's the way that you select all of the shapes in that area. And when you release it, you'll get this box with different points. Then you need to take your mouse and you need to right click and go to group. So you might have to use a little toggle on the side to group or you can use the shortcut control alt G that will group them as well. So remember right click scroll down to group or use control alt G. So I clicked that and it grouped my shapes. Now what this allows me to do is when I click on it. I am moving all of my shapes at once. All right, now, because I'm going to need to have three piles of shapes, I am going to copy and paste this so I don't have to make my shapes again. So after you group, select, copy, and then either Control V or select paste. And I'm just going to move them to different parts of my screen. I'm going to use the control V shortcut to get my last group. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to select your shapes. Then I want you to group them. Then come back to the video and we'll go on to the next part. All right. Now that you have your three piles of shapes, we need to change the order of where we have the arrow. Right now, we are, if we look at this first one I have selected, our arrow is at the bottom of the pile. So we don't have to do anything with that one. The next one says change the order of the second pile to have the arrow in the middle. So what that means is that I'm going to click on my star and I am going to order and I am going to select, ungroup. actually I'm going to select it and go to ungroup. Now my shapes, I can move, oops. It should allow me when I ungroup to select just my star. And then I'm going to click 
and I am going to move my star to the back. So I'm going to go to order and I'm going to select send to back. That puts my star in back and my arrow, which is yellow in the middle. And as you can see, I have the purple on top. I'm going to undo that so that you can see what I did as I do it again. Watch carefully. I'm going to select my star. And I know that my star is selected because I see this little diamond right there. I am going to right click. I'm going to select order and send to back. That moves my star to the back, my arrow to the middle where we want it, and my box on top. Go ahead and pause and move your star to the back. All right. Now we have our fifth step. We need to change the order of the third pile to have the arrow on the top. So I'm going to click on my third group and I'm going to click on my select my arrow right there. And then I'm going to right click. I'm going to ungroup. I'm going to select my arrow again, right click, order. And if I send to the back, oops, let's try this again. Click, order. I'm going to bring to front. Now, if you see that when I first did this, I didn't have the bring to front selected or it wasn't an option. That's because I wasn't clicked on my object that I wanted to bring to back. It thought that I wanted to bring the start of the front, which it already is. So if I cl click on bring to front, my arrow is now on top. All right, let me undo that so you can see how to do it again. I'm going to select and click on, uh, left click on my arrows back here. Then I'm going to right click, select order, bring to front. And then we already did step number six, which was to use the group command. We did that to make copies. So the last thing we have to do is submit in Google Classroom. So once you have your arrow in the back, in the middle, in front, you can go right to Google Classroom and submit.